Select Source to view the code for this page and you'll see that with one exception, there are no text formatting tags on this page. Notice that the title is still coded with the H2 tag. Close this notepad window and open the file titled style1.html in the browser. This is the same page with a few small changes. View the source of this page and notice in the head portion of the document there is a reference to a linked style sheet titled style1.css. And in the body tag there is a new attribute called class which is used here to define the name of the style that is being used to format this page. In this example, the style has been given the name CSS Example. By placing this within the opening body tag, it affects the entire contents of the page. But notice also that only the font of the title has changed. It is still displayed bigger because of the H2 heading tag. That is the cascading part of cascading style sheets. We will cover these rules of style precedence as we attempt to apply styles to our own pages. Now, using Notepad, Open the file titled style1.css from the CD. You will have to switch the files of type pull down menu to all files. This is a very simple example of a cascading style sheet. Remember, when we looked at the body tag of the HTML page just a moment ago, there was a reference to the style called CSS Example. This tells the browser how to display text that is formatted using the CSS Example style. This kind of style is known as a custom class style, which is just a fancy way of saying that this is a style we named and defined ourselves. The beauty of style sheets is that if we want to make a simple change to our text, all we have to do is alter this style code. Now close this page 